guys, this is Dynamite Tech Channel here, here with you a desktop computer, HP Pavilion A1730N. Here with you a motherboard troubleshoot um, tutorial about how you can fix your um, computer that isn't starting up or has a failure of video card or memory or other supplies supported by the motherboard itself. So as you can see here, this is a desktop pavilion HP computer which is about 8 to 10 years old and I've had this computer for many years and it served me very well and its purpose. So basically today I actually um, went through a bunch of problems with this computer. One day um, it stopped showing, it started having trouble booting up. So I thought it was the video card or the motherboard due to its long durations of hours served. So I inspected the video card first. And now you can see here, it was an integrated chip. Therefore, um, you can't switch the card due to it's integrated towards the motherboard. Therefore, you cannot change it, but you can insert another video card from these three, three slots. Well, from these three slots, which is the PCI Express 2.0 and the PCI slots. So you're looking at here um, the black slot, which is the PCI 2.0. However, I brought it to the company Tiger Direct and they have placed other video cards to see if that was the problem. However, it wasn't. They tried multiple video cards, like older ones that seem low-end video cards. However, it really didn't work. It didn't boot up as normal. So they checked something else, which was the processor. Now, you won't be able to see the processor now because it's under this fan. So this is the CPU cooling fan, and the processor is right under this fan. So yeah, they also changed the processor here with a Intel Pentium, um, I'm actually not sure what the specific processor was, but it was along those lines. And they've seen, they checked it, they changed to other processors, but it still didn't budge. So they moved to the third target, which was the RAM slot. I'm pretty sure they probably checked this first, I'm just saying the order wrong because it's really easy to change and you don't have to go through so much fixing and maintenance to change it. So I, they actually checked other RAM sticks and it still didn't work, supposedly. And they also checked the, the power supply unit, the PCU, but they said it worked pretty fine since all the beeps and coatings were all right. Now, then I took it back. They said they couldn't find the problem. They think it's within the motherboard. But really, it might. there's more to check other than that. So I'll just wait for this camera to focus. Um, there's actually one more thing that you can do. Do you see this CMOS battery right here? You might want to change that first before taking it into another technician. So first, what you want to do is check underneath here. You can see the CMOS battery. Um, I'm not sure what it does. I think it's just to support the clock or whatever, but you should probably change that first, or if you have a spare one, might just slot it in just to check if there's anything else, any problems with that. And if that's not the case, try switching the RAM slots to other slots. Sorry, not the RAM slots, the RAM itself. So as you can see here, I put I have three one gigabyte RAM card. So you can see this PC is actually not that good at all. Three gigabytes is nothing. Compared to these days, you have eight gigabytes, 12 gigabytes, 16, 32. 
which you don't really need, but still, compared to 3 gigabytes only, running on a Windows Vista operating system, which has lots of errors. So, you might want to change the slotting around, and you can see here I have three, video, three RAM cards into different slots. You can see I didn't put it in the second slot. Maybe there's a problem with that slot. Who knows? Motherboards have lots of problems within them, hard to detect. So you can scan throughout your whole motherboard just to check. And yeah, so you might want to check your RAM to see if it works. And yeah, there you have it. Now you can troubleshoot your own CPU at home today. So if you have any more questions, comment in the comment box below and I'll get to your question right away. This is Dynamite Tech Channel signing off.